So in the previous lecture we have seen that we have two types of languages. One is finite and second one is infinite. If the language, the given language, given language is finite, then it's okay with that. And if the language is infinite, then there is a problem. We have to convert that infinite language. We have to convert that infinite language to a finite representation. Okay. And to this finite representation, we will fit the string and take the answer with yes or no. Yes means that that the string is accepted or not accepted. Okay. So let us understand few more examples uh, for this infinite language. So under the first example, if I have a set of strings over the alphabets zero and ones, set of all strings over the alphabets, this that starts with one. So the language will become L one will be become like this. Starts with one. Okay. Next one is one zero. Next one possible is one one. And the next possibility is one zero zero and one one. This possibility is one one. Next one is one 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 zero one 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 zero. I have to so on. So this language L one is a case of this infinite language. Okay, so this is the case of infinite language. Now, how we will convert that infinite language to a finite representation? So let us see that. So for the, now, in this finite representation, this symbol, this will represent the state. Okay, and I will add an arrow to this or I can say that if I am having an arrow to this state, this means starting state. Okay. And if I am having a case in which two circles. Okay. So this is our final state. Okay, so uh, these few things that we require to construct the finite representation for the infinite language. Okay, so for this language L one, the finite representation will be will be like this. Okay, so I will start with the stage initial stage that is like this. Okay. So here I have two symbols, zero and one. So for zero, for zero, I will first I will take transition for one. Okay, for one, I will show here the final state, and for zero, it will be this. Okay, so again. At this stage, I will take it as x, y, and z. Okay, so I have shown the two transitions for zero and one for this stage, so it is okay. And at this stage, y for zero, it will remain here. For one, it will be here. Same is the case for this. One and zero. Okay. So this is the final representation for the finite representation for this language. Okay. So if you are not understanding this, we will uh, cover this topic in detail. So for now, we are just taking the taking this for understanding. Okay. So in this. In this fin finite representation, if I have a string,
if I am having a string 1, 1, 1, this string. Okay. So I will check that the given string 1, 1, 1, that will be equal to 0, 1, 1, 1 is accepted on this finite representation or not. Okay. So uh, if the string is accepted, is a case when I will start with initial state that is this one and end up with the final state that is this one and then and then we can say that that the string is accepted for example for the string 1 1 1 okay I will start with initial state that is x okay so for one first one I will go to y so from x I will go to y okay so for this it is okay for next one I will I am presently I am here so for one I will again go to this one and remain in the same state from y I will go to y okay so for currently I am again in y so for one more one it is okay for one more one I will go here and remain in by okay so for one 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 this is our start for the initial stage I and I. initial and this one is the final so the I will start with initial and end up with final so we can say that the string is accepted okay but what happen if I have a case of string w is equal to 0 1 1 so what will happen in this case I will start with the initial that is x okay the first symbol is 0 I will for 0 I will go to z okay so next is 1 so I am here for 1 I will go to this loop and by taking one I will still remain in Z. So Z. Okay. So for next is one. So for one I am again with the loop and remain in this. So string is over. But this is not the final stage. Okay. This is not the final stage. So I will start with the initial but not end up with not ending final okay so the string is not accepted okay so this is all about string is accepted and not accepted with the help of this finite representation that we have drawn here okay so uh, next topic we have is finite automata okay. finite automata so finite automata are classified into two types okay one is finite automata with or fa stands for finite automata with output and finite automata without output okay so in this case finite automata with output we have two cases or two machines one is one case is Mori machine and second one is the case of Mili machine 
and in this case standard automata without output we have is first is the case of dfa next we have is nfa and one more case we have is enfa okay dfa means deterministic and automata and nfa is non deterministic file automata so first of all we will take this case okay that is we have dfa and dfa stands for deterministic finite automata okay so for now we will have d f a and dfa stands for deterministic finite automata so dfa we have which take dfa on deterministic finite automata which takes which takes q sigma q not and f okay so here q Q stands for states. Okay, so what are the states? Let us repeat the previous example that we have drawn. We have state x. X is the initial. We have y. Y is the final, and we have one more state that is z. And one zero that we have is one and zero. Okay, one and zero. Okay, this is the finite representation. So in this DFA deterministic finite automata, state uh, we have states are x, y, and z. X, y, and Z. Next we have is alphabets. Alphabets. So in alphabets we have two symbols. One is zero and one. Zero and one means each state have to reply on zero and one. Or we can say that each state we have uh, input or sorry output zero and one. That is. Zero and one. So next we have is sigma, that is mapping function. Its mapping function from each state x, y, z to x, y, z to this. Or we can say that. Q, Q two. This okay. I will I uh, will see this later. Next is Q naught. So Q naught is a initial state, and in this case, this is the X. And F stands for final. State and we have final is final state we have is Y. Okay. Y. One thing that you have to notice a circle define. Circle means. We have state. Okay. If a circle with this symbol means initial state. Okay. If we have double circle, 
means find the state okay so these are the basics so in this case mapping function x y z to e we will represent this in which we have stages are x y z maps to sigma or we can say that 0 and 1 okay so in this diagram x by taking 0 okay next is x by taking 1 versus this will not be complete here so I will have to drop it here yeah, this mapping function will say that x x x by taking x by taking 0 x by taking 1 next is y y by taking 0 y by taking 1 z by taking 0 and z by taking 1 ok so in this diagram x x y z so x by taking 0 will go to z x by taking x by taking 1 will go to by okay so in this by 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 taking 0 will remain in by okay so by by taking 1 will remain in by so z by taking 0 will remain in z okay and z by taking 1 will remain in z okay so this is the mapping function from this to in this okay so this is all about dfa or deterministic finite automata basics so in next lecture we will cover some dfa examples okay